startup Visual Studio 2022 for Windows, we're asked what we'd like to do. We're going to create a new project. And that's the button down here at the bottom. So we're going to create a new Maui project. And on the left hand side, it has some templates of projects I've created in the, recently in the past. I have .NET Maui app as one of those choices. And that's what I'd want to select to create a new .NET Maui app. But if you haven't done that before, you will not have that listed here. So over on the right hand side, you can go to project types. And one of the options here is Maui. So we have some different types of Maui projects. DevExpress is actually using a third party project that I've added in. You probably won't have that, but you will have .NET Maui app. That's the one you want to create. But there's also a Maui Blazor app. That's a hybrid app that uses both Maui mobile along with a Blazor web hybrid. And we can also create a class library for Maui. So those are our three choices. We're going to choose Maui app and click next and then we give it a name. I'm going to call it first Maui app. You can choose where it's going to be located. I'm going to click next. We have a choice of .NET 7 or .NET 6. I'm going to go ahead and choose .NET 7 and create. And in the Windows side of Visual Studio, I get my Solution Explorer on the right hand side. And over here we have a folder for platforms. You can see that we can develop for Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, which is our Mac OS, Tizen, which is Samsung and Windows. We can also have resources so we can add in images and fonts and so forth. We have an app XAML, an app shell.xaml, a main page.xaml and a Maui program CS. In creating our pages, we're going to work with the main page XAML. And so initially, that's really the main thing we're going to change. I'm just going to double click on that. And there then is the XAML code of the default applications built into a .NET MAUI app. Now, I'm going to expand that because underneath that is also the C Sharp code behind, main page.xaml.cs. And there is the C Sharp code. It gives the functionality. So at the top here, I'm going to go back to main page XAML. And let me just run this. I can choose what kind of emulator or device I want to run this on. I'm going to choose an Android emulator. And then I'm going to run. And it's going to load up the emulator, build the project for that device, and deploy it to the device. And the first time you deploy to a device, it generally takes several minutes to do that. So be patient. You can watch the information at the bottom here that the pixel that the emulator is running. And then further over to the right, you'll see this little arrow pointing down that's it's loading the project into the emulator. You see a status bar pop up there. You can also watch the output for information. It's now done building the project. So now we see over in the bottom left, it's deploying to the emulator. There's our splash screen. And there is the project running in the emulator. The C sharp code behind allows the click me button to work and I can click and it tells me how many times I clicked on the button. So very simply, looking at the XAML code, we have a vertical stack layout. So think of these as rows. We have an image, which is this image of the Maui bot, a label, hello world, a label that says, welcome to .NET Maui platform, and then a button that initially has text click me, but as we run the code behind, it's gonna change the text of that button to how many times was clicked. What we'll do is we create applications as we can come through and change any of this information and create our own application with our own layout. And that's how we'll start creating simple applications. We can also in the solution explorer, add more pages here and make go to those pages rather than main page or be able to navigate through multiple pages. And just so you can see in the XAML code, I'm going to change hello world to hello SMCC. If I go back to the emulator, it shows hello SMCC. I can also do things like change the color of that. So I might say text color equals red. 
And let's also make the font attributes equal bold. And again, I'll go back to my emulator and that is now in red and the text is bold. So looking at the XAML, we'll look at XAML in the next uh, lesson, but we have our controls inside tags and, in, and with those controls, we can specify attributes or properties that modify how that control looks and how it behaves. We can also set up events that are tied into our C sharp. So here we have a clicked event of on counter click. And so when I click the button, it's going to find that on counter clicked in the C sharp and run that event handler. Let's take a look at this on the Macintosh side. And then in the next video, I'll go through some of the steps in writing your XAML code to create the interface. On the Visual Studio for Mac side, when we open it up, we have a dialog box to open an existing project or create a new project. We're going to create a new project. And then again, we have some recent templates here. And it's then creating.NET MAUI that shows up. Again, you may not have that, but you can certainly go to multi-platform here and choose app. And you get the .NET MAUI app as well as the .NET MAUI Blazor app as, op as options. So we're going to create a .NET MAUI app, click continue, choose our framework. Again, we have 6.0 and 7.0. I'm going to go with 7.0. Continue. Give our project name. So as I did on the PC side, I'll name this one first MAUI app. Side where I want it to be saved. I'm not going to use git and simply click create. Now the one difference here that you'll see in on the Mac side versus the PC side, the Solution Explorer is over on the left hand side. But we have the same thing here as far as platforms. We have our resources, such as images and fonts. And then we have the app XAML, app shell XAML, and then our main page XAML and the underlying C sharp code. Same information here that we had in the in the PC side. And once again, I can choose an emulator to run this in. I'll do the iPhone 14. There's the emulator running. I can say click me and it tells me time I, how many times I clicked. Now as we did before, I can make some changes here. So let's change our text color attribute to be red. And our font attributes will make bold. And in the emulator, we see that occur. So that's called hot reload. I noticed up here I had a message that the hot load reload encountered a problem, but it seems to be working. I'm just going to click this, don't show this message again. Um, I'm not going to take the survey at this point. So I'll say don't show again. And I don't necessarily need to see the information that happened that is new to Mac 17.6. So I'll hide that again. And of course, here we have our C sharp code. So in the next lesson, let's take a look at how to write XAML code and some of the options we have here. And then our, our first project will be to create an application that determines the device independent units for that device, whether it be an emulator or a physical device. And that will aid us in designing. So let's go on to the next lesson. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.